Hello, I'm the stupid dodo, and before we begin, I gotta say one thing. Boo Titty 2 sucks. <laughs> Quick disclosure, I just want to say that this level's atmosphere is great, and Jonathan GD has made some great levels in the past. The parts of decoration and song go really well together, and the gameplay is synced with the song perfectly. Also, the song is a very good part of this level. However, the gameplay itself really frickin' sucks. So, let's start out with the gameplay. Throughout the first 0 to 20% of the level, there really aren't many parts that I hate to do with gameplay. All I can really think of are some tight timings in the ball at 8%, but that really isn't that bad. Now, the drop is another story completely. The first 4% of the drop is completely fine by me, but then there is this absolutely stupid ball section starting at 24%. You have to hit a wall of black orbs and then tap again to stay alive, which is a very inconsistent and genuinely just annoying piece of gameplay. There is also a very inconsistent spam of three orbs that screwed me over many times when attempting to beat this stupid level. To finish the annoying parts of the drop, there is this quadruple speed mini cube part with some orb spam that just ruins my day every single time. The drop was pretty good, but what the actual heck is this crap? After the drop, there is this free robot, which is pretty frickin' annoying to die at, but is otherwise okay. Now after this robot, on the other hand, there is this really tight section that has caused me several pains throughout my body. First of all, there is this pretty tight straight fly that transitions to a tight flying section very abruptly, which can end an attempt that has already lasted 1 minute and 30 seconds very annoyingly and abruptly. Then, after that stupid ship is an even stupider ball with what I like to call the dash orb that ends dreams. This frickin' dash orb and spike combo can so easily mess you up if you aren't paying attention and aren't able to improvise. If you don't hit this dash orb at a precise time, you will have a very bad time getting past the next spike. Finally, this part ends with some tight ball timings that can end your hopes of getting past this stupid part. Next up is this random invisible part that can easily be navigated if you turn your brightness up, but is the most unsatisfying crap to die to. You're happy to be past the stupid 40% part, and then boom, you die to this annoying little piece of crap right before the next part. But this next part instantly slaps you in the face with a blind transition. You are instantly catapulted into the spider part, and if you don't expect it, then there goes a minute and 45 seconds of your most likely insanely cool and eventful life. Once you get into the part, though, just make sure to remember this part is a robot part or you will die stupidly, and remember to jump up to these orbs late or you will once again waste tons of time to a really frickin' annoying death. There are so many of these frickin' annoying deaths, oh my gosh dang goodness. After this part, there is a duel, which other than some hard UFO clicks really isn't that bad. Just kidding, there's yet another fast-paced mini-cube section just like the invisible one at the one at the end of the drop before it, and this one includes super buggy and annoying timings. After this duel section, there is a robot part, which is also free like the one at 30, and is also super annoying to die at. This one has much more precise timings though, and that is a continued theme throughout this level. The gameplay patterns are quite the same, but the gameplay slowly gets more and more difficult and annoying. Also, side note, there is this one part in the background of the robot section where Jonathan GD has a list of things he wants to do, such as stream, <laughs> and one of them is don't suck. And I'm making an entire video on why the level with this message sucks. <laughs> oh no. Speaking of difficult and annoying, here's the stupid cube part at 60, which includes all the buggy and tricking timing cube you'll need to supply a now permanently scarred lifetime. Then after that stupid part, there is a UFO with many bugs and trippy orb timings that waste a good two and a half minutes in the most enraging way possible. 
After this, you get a neat transition with the level series' name, and you get boosted into a robot part. And this time, the timings are even more annoying and precise. See a pattern yet? There are many stupid frickin' parts in this part, such as these small jumps up a staircase here, with some spikes above to screw you out of two and a half minutes of an otherwise great life you'd have. There are also these random tight ball parts and robot parts in the middle, but they're just inconsistent and not really buggy, so I'll give them a pass. Don't get me wrong, they still suck though. Finally, to end this part, there's this sudden wave part that can easily end your peaceful existence with this stupid transition at the start of it and into the mini wave. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to the duel, and ho oh, ho ho, the duel sucks. Man, the duel sucks. There are these cube timings right at the beginning where you have to tap very early or your cube will be shot straight into some spikes or quite sadly just jump into them. Then there is this spider part which is super annoying and inconsistent. It kills me so much here, oh my gosh dude. Then there is this super extremely no good, very bad, 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 stupid wave and ball combo that is so annoyingly precise that if you make one bad move, you lose three minutes of your now worthless existence. Then there is this cube and robot combo, which once learned is really consistent and actually isn't that bad. This is probably the first part with nothing wrong with it since the beginning of the level. Then there is this actually free cube part that will make you feel stupid for the rest of your life if you die while playing through it. And no, despite my name, I have yet to die here because I've never actually beaten this level. But I have put 4,000 attempts into this piece of garbage, holy crap. After the part that belongs in a hard four star, there is this tight ball with the actual worst black orb in a ball ever. It is way worse than the black orb part at the drop. For goodness sakes, it is the buggiest trash I have ever seen. And then we get to the sole reason I haven't beaten this level. No, it was not the annoying mini cube parts, it was not the dumb places you could easily die at, it was not the bugs, no. It was the stupid part after this cube duel. This cube duel has annoying timing, sure, but it is nothing compared to this next part. This part, from the actual depths of hell, starts with a UFO and ship duel, which starts with yet another stupid blind transition. You have to click during the transition, or else your ship and UFO get completely obliterated. 14% away from the end of the level. And then there is this ship and wave section at 87%. This ship and wave section would be fine if it weren't for this portal in the middle of the part and before the spike corridor ends. Because of this corridor continuing past this portal, your wave will get teleported into these spikes 50% of the time. Why does this part exist? Why? Jonathan! Why? I literally gave up nine days of attempts because I knew that this part would ruin my day. So I just left this level in the dust because of it. This is why Boo Titty 2 sucks. If no other reason, this is it. But that's not the end of it. Oh, that's not the end of it. After this dual part, there is still a wave which can easily kill you because of the stress caused by actually getting past the howl of this level. You could easily just forget the click pattern of this wave after beating the duel and have your entire duel ruined just by that. So be careful of this stupid piece of trash wave. There is another stupid part after this wave section as well in the form of a boss fight with Juniper's icon. This ship starts with Juniper shooting several fireballs with a very, very tight pathway in between them to get out of. These paths go from the top of this part to the bottom so your ship can easily go out of control and you die right at the frickin' end. Then you are targeted by the seeking missile stars which need to be strategically lured. You can't go too high or low at once when dodging them because Juniper comes out of nowhere to absolutely annihilate you right at the end. Also, I forgot to mention, you either have to dodge the stars by going up or down because this part is randomized as another little part to screw you the frick over right at the end. 
Finally, this part ends with a tight straight fly that can snag you if you aren't careful. At the end of the level, there is this trippy, semi-visible ship section that is super precise. The visibility of the section and the precision of the movements required to get through it make it super annoying and stressful, especially for the last freaking 3% of the level. What the actual heck, Jonathan? Finally, there is this one special jump at the ending of the level, but we'll get to that in a bit. There are also several death messages throughout this level that annoy me to the frickin' core. I located three of these as I played through the level and they are super annoying to have to look at. Firstly, there is a death effect at the end of this wave part that reads Torch121 Best Creator, which is referencing the generic 2.1 creator Torch121, who in my opinion is very infamous for making super bland and uninteresting levels. Um, Jonathan is either jabbing at Torch121 by sarcastically saying that Torch121 is the best creator, or Jonathan is actually completely out of his mind. Uh, either way, I really hate dying in this wave part. It absolutely sucks to see this death effect, and I wish it didn't exist. Secondly, there is a death effect at this straight wave slash straight ship section that is a bundle of laughing, crying emoji. The thought of Jonathan laughing at my suffering makes me want to punch a hole through my monitor, and the fact that the emoji art is so horribly decorated makes me even more angry. Finally, there is the death effect at 99%. I would never wish this death upon even my greatest enemies like Evan the Great, who called me stupid doo-doo when I raided him once and when he raided me. I'll get you one day, Evan, but anyway. If you die at this very wide triple spike at 99%, the screen will go white and will read, To Be Continued. Why does this triple spike exist? It's the freaking rotten egg on top of the freaking garbage pile of this level. Why the frick, man? Why, 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 why would you do that? So, yeah. Boo. Titty 2 sucks. This video took a long time to make, and I would just very deeply like to thank you f if you got all the way to this part without skipping through for watching my entire video. I really appreciate it. I put a lot of work into this, so I sincerely thank you for it. On my Twitch channel, I said that at the end of this video, I would reveal the next insane demon that I am doing on my channel. Uh, since I gave up on Boo Titty 2, and the next insane demon I am doing is Boo Titty 2. Get pranked.